Hello, hello everyone. Hello, how you doing? It is I, it is me. So what I'm going to do today, um, I was going to do a YouTube live, but it's such a time delay and probably won't be able to answer questions. So what I'm doing today, I'm finishing up a very special set of dominoes. These are the backs, either that one or that one. I haven't fit, figured out which one. But what I noticed when I cut with my Cricut, let me pull one. Da, da, da. So when I cut these today, and I used the wrong thing, but when I cut these, it did not cut um, exactly at the right spot. I had on the um, bleed, which I wanted on. However, you can see it cuts on this side bigger, and it actually cut off on that side, but... Um, let me show you the other one. You can probably see it better on this one. So, because it's two different designs. So this one, you see how it cut on that side. It cut too close and this side it cut over too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to calibrate your Cricut machine through design space because that's going to help me get this special set of dominoes right. So let me share my screen. Okay, so now we're in Cricut Design Space. You see my two designs are up here. So to calibrate, which is um, to kind of, what that means, zero your um, Cricut, zero on military. So get it right on point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here in the left-hand corner to this hamburger menu right here. We're going to go down to calibration. Simple enough, right? This is a simple um, thing. So all you're going to do from here is you're going to follow the direction. Print, then cut. And I'm not sure why this um, did this because I definitely just calibrated, but I did have an update this morning when I signed in. So I'm going to select a printer. Hold on one second. Let me pause the recording. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Had a phone call. Let me turn the phone off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my printer, and that's all you'll do. You hit the drop down. It has a list of your printers on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my regular ink Epson. I'm going to print a sheet. So, let me give it time to print. So, once that prints, this is what you're going to see um, on the print. And all you do is you place it on your mat. So, I'm going to place that in the corner. I'm going to place it on my mat. And then I'm going to go to my Cricut and I'm going to put it in there. So from here, all you do is you follow the directions, okay? So I'm going to place my sheet on the mat. Continue. I have my um, machine already selected. It automatically selects. So I'm going to take this to the machine, and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing at the machine. So give me a moment. So we are over at the Cricut, and the only thing you have to do is load it in and press the arrow. Well, you have to have your mat loaded now. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do it one hand, so let me do it right this time. So get the mat in there and press the arrow. So it got in there, it's um, seated. So we're going to go back to the computer and I'll show you what it says on the computer. Okay, so we are back. Once I got the sheet in, um, I went ahead and I selected and now, I'm sorry. So I selected, I loaded. Now it says press the flashing go button. So the go button is flashing. And I'm going to go back to my machine and I'm going to cut, I mean, 
not cut. I'm gonna press the flash and go button. Okay, without load, unloading the mat, examine the cut lines around the small square in the middle, small square in the middle, and then all you're gonna do is come back and you're gonna do yes or no. So does the cut touch the printed line around the middle? So let's go see. So this is the line. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Let me see if I can zoom in with this light like this. Okay. That is the cut line and you'll see it's on the box. So I'm not sure why it's not cutting, but let's go to the next portion. So does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? And it did. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press yes. We're getting closer. Let's fine tune the calibration so your cuts are perfect. So let continue to perform the cut. So we're going to do a continue. And now when I hit continue, it's going to cut the lines at the top, which are the horizontal lines. So let me show you that. So my mistake is cutting the lines at the top and the box side. So it's doing horizontal and vertical. So I cut the ones at the top first. So it's done its magic and I'm gonna go back over to the computer. So this is the time when you go um, look which is the cut, it, which is cut the best, I'm sorry y'all. So which cuts landed closest to the center? So you got the top lines and they have one through 21 and you have the lines on the right and it has A through U. So that's 21 lines also. So all you do is you'll go to your Cricut and um, get the one that is closest. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna check. Probably should have put the computer next to the thing. Let me move the computer over there so I won't have to keep going back and forth. If you'll see the cut lines, one is way off to the left, going around to 21 being way off to the right. So we're going to get the one that's closest to the center. Between six and seven to me. Let me see. I'm gonna say seven. Let's see for, for the side. So, A all the way down to you. I had to get closer. So for me, I'm gonna say
I don't know if you all can see this. Hold on, let me focus. I'm sorry about that. We just gonna cut this off, but it's M. I just can't get my camera to focus. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so what I chose for the top was six, and what I chose for the right was N instead of M. So I'm gonna hit N, and then I'm gonna hit continue. Now it's gonna do a confirmation cut. And that's going to be on the top left of the big square. Okay, now, all you have to do is go and see if you're happy with this cut or not. I'm not going to take you through the pain of me trying to focus my computer. So give me a second and I, I mean, focus my camera. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so when I looked at that cut, it looked pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to continue. You're good to go. Click, click save and continue button. And now my, my Cricut Air 2 has been calibrated. So... So this is how I cut the first time prior to me um, calibrating it. You see it's over a lot on the left-hand side. So let's see. I reprinted it, and this time I just used black and white. Don't want to waste no ink. So let's see what happens to this one. Okay, I had to put the camera down, but this is the one that I cut after I calibrated. So notice right there where it was cut off on that side. Now, that's exactly how I had it on the screen when I did my design. So, my machine is now calibrated again. So, hopefully, Cricut won't mess it up again. And this is the um, design on the screen. So, there you have it. That's it. So, the uh, most important thing is... Calibrate your machine. I've never had to calibrate it after an update. I'm not sure what that update is that we just um, did. But when you find that you are doing cutting and it's a little off, go and calibrate your machine. How easy is that? So I hope you enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this video, and um, even if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Also, like this video, leave a comment. If you have a question, I'll answer it as soon as I can get to it. And hit the follow button so you can be notified when I upload new content. Y'all, I'm trying to get there. I'm out here in this cold ass garage. I don't even know what to do. I can't wait till the guy gets back to put up that insulation so I can get the working. So happy crafting, everybody. Bye, y'all.